everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a card with some products from the new July 2017 release. And we're going to create a fun little slider card where our little puppy images on the card are going to play catch with a ball. So to start off, we're going to do some stamping and coloring of our images. So I have a whole bunch of warm gray Copic markers picked out here, and these are what I'm going to use to color in my puppy images. Now I did stamp an extra one there. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with this card design when I first started. I didn't know if I wanted to kind of have one puppy chasing the ball or what the plan was, so I decided just to stamp out all of the images and then go from there. So I ended up using the two puppies that face each other. I love that this stamp set has images that are kind of mirrored so that they kind of work together to create fun scenes. Just makes it a lot of fun to be able to combine them onto a card design. So I'm going to do the coloring of the puppies pretty much the same. They're going to be the exact same color and then I'm just going to change up some of the accessory colors on them just to change them up a tiny bit. But I'm using the same gray colors on both of these puppies. I'm starting out with the lightest color first and going in with a little bit of a darker color just to get a little bit of definition and shading. And then I'm going in with the lightest color once again just to kind of blend all that color out. I'm using some tan colored markers to do the little hair on their heads as well as their face and then I'm going to take some different colors to do the accents on the puppies. So I'm using some greens on my first guy there with the collar and then I'm using some aqua colors to color the bandana on the second guy. For the little ball I want to create a tennis ball so I'm going to color that with some green and then we'll accent that later to change it up and make it a tennis ball. So now that I have the images colored and die cut we're going to start to work on the different pieces that are going to form our card front. So first off, I have the Hit the Slopes Dynamics, and I just want to use this little um, landscape die here. This has stitching on both the bottom and the top, and I wanted to use this one because I want the puppies to kind of be angled on the card front, so you can kind of see how I'm, how I'm positioning them there, and that's because I want them to be able to kind of catch the ball on their noses, so I want their noses to be kind of angled upwards. So I thought this die would work perfectly because it gives me that type of hill on each side that allows them to kind of be angled, and it looked like they actually should be. So to create the color for my landscape on the card, I'm just using some mode lawn distressing to completely cover the bottom piece. And then I'm going to take some peacock feathers distressing and completely cover the top. I did let the color kind of fade off towards the top of the panel and then towards the bottom of the panel where I did the grass. As usual for me, I'm doing a little bit of distressing on the panels with some water just to kind of give it a little bit more texture. I just really love the look of the water with the distressings. And then you can see when I put these two pieces back together now and position those puppies, I have this really fun grassy hill that they're standing on with the sky area behind them. And then this is the fun part where we're going to make this interactive and make them actually be able to play ball. So I have these circle spinner channels dynamics and I'm going to use this circle die to create a little arch that we can use to put the ball in. So I'm going to position this onto my card front, figure out exactly where I want the puppies to be and where their noses are going to kind of be so that the ball will line up properly. And then I'm going to take some post-it tape and I'm going to add this to the card front with that tape. And this is just going to hold it in place for me to run it through my die cut machine. Now the trick here is we don't want to fully die cut this. We only want to do partial die cutting so we end up with just a little arch and it doesn't cut through right to the bottom of the panel. Because we don't want that center area to completely fall out, we just want to have this arch panel that we're going to be able to use to put the ball into. So I'm running this through my die cutting machine and making sure to have my cutting plates not over top of the bottom. And what that's going to do is it's only going to cut out the portion that is under the plate. So in this instance, it's only the arch piece and you can see it kind of stops cutting and this is still completely intact on the card. And that's exactly what we want. We're going to use an X-Acto knife to cut off that extra at the bottom. So I'm putting the puppies back on once again, making sure where everything is going to line up so that I know exactly where I can cut this out and it's going to be hidden in behind the puppy. And then I'm just using my craft knife to quickly cut that out and leave just the arch opening. So I need another piece of cardstock that we can layer underneath of the cardstock panel that has the channel cut into it. So I'm going to add some blue ink to this panel as well. I'm cutting it so that it fits nicely behind the original panel and then I'm going to set that aside until we're ready to add it onto the card. I'm adhering the top and bottom panel of the card front with some score tape. I just have them flipped upside down and I'm adding this adhesive along the area where the two panels meet. And then I'm going to take the whole panel and run it through my die cut machine with a stitched rectangle. And that's just going to give us a nice finished edge on our panel. 
Once I have that done, I can go ahead and start to assemble the slider portion that's going to allow our ball to move. So I have a little circle of white cardstock that I cut from the Circle Stacks Dynamics. I have the spin and slide discs, which are the little plastic pieces that fit in between the circles to create the slider. And then I also have the little ball that we've stamped, die cut, and colored. So first I'm adding some adhesive to the back of this, which is just the white circle. And then I added the spin and slide disc on top and let that completely dry. Then I positioned the card base over top, making sure to put the little plastic disc there into the slider channel. And then I'm adding some more liquid glue and the ball on top. I put an acrylic block on to let it fully dry and make sure nothing moved. And then once that was dry, I removed the acrylic block and added some detail with a white gel pen to turn this into a tennis ball. Once we're finished with the ball detail, I'm just going to flip this panel over and cover the entire thing with foam adhesive. I did not, I was not shy with it at all. I completely covered that whole background. And then I'm adding that second panel of cardstock to the back behind the channel. And now you can see I have our tennis ball there that freely moves within the channel and is going to allow the dogs to play catch. I'm adding a little bit more adhesive now to this extra piece that we added, and then I'm adding the whole panel to our top folding grout gray card base. And I absolutely love this tennis ball. I think it's so fun to have this kind of sliding in this channel. It moves so easily, and it's just a lot of fun. So now that we have the slider part all done, we just need to assemble the rest of the elements that finish our card. So I'm using the Spring Scene Builder Dynamics dies, and I cut out three little clouds. I have the Grassy Hills Dynamics, and I cut out an extra piece of grass for the bottom. And then I used the Blueprints 28 to cut out a little sentiment banner. I'm using the same Puppy Pal stamp set and adding my sentiment onto the banner, but I'm just shortening it a tiny bit and only using part of that original sentiment. And then I'm adhering all of the pieces to the card. So I added the grass to the bottom. I'm adding the two puppies to the sides of the little channel here, and I'm just making sure that they line up so that their noses are what the ball's going to touch. And now you can see when the ball moves in the channel, it goes from nose to nose on each of the puppies. So cute. And then to finish up the card, I'm just adding the three little clouds up to the top area as well as the sentiment banner. It is a little bit too long, so I did take my scissors and trim that down once I had it adhered. And then once I have that done, our card is finished and we have this adorable little slider card where the little puppies can play catch. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll give it a try. And I will see you next time in another video.